In 20 years, Radio KDNA has aired 21,000 hours of programming. Now, a brief glimpse of some of the educational and informational programs produced by staff and community volunteers. As a news source and part of the emergency broadcast system, KDNA's first major local coverage was the eruption of Mount St. Helens on May 18, 1980. Since then, it has continuously reported important events, from local flooding, to the Martin Luther King March, and the unionization of farm workers. The news have been reported by the voices of news directors Mario Zeta Alvarez, Bernice Zuniga, Celia Prieto, and Nelly Mares. ¿Qué tal con ustedes? Yo soy Celia Prieto y estaré trayéndole las noticias de este día. Este martes 6 de noviembre es una fecha muy importante para todos los residentes de los Estados Unidos, ya que es el día de elegir no nada más a un presidente de los Estados Unidos. Today, news with Antonio Valderas and Ricardo García is augmented by NPR's Latino USA with María Martin. Noticiero Latino, produced by Samuel Orozco of Radio Balingue, California, and weekly news by Rosalva Cortez, direct from Morelia, Michoacán. Since the beginning, KDNA's interest in children has been evident in Jardín de los Niños. The show has given kids the opportunity to participate in radio. Over the years, the characters of Jardín have been invited to perform at schools and in community events. <laughs> Hosted by Ezequiel Ramirez as El Viejito, the old one, the program continues to inform and entertain parents as well as kids. Hola, viejito. ¿Cómo estás, Gilberto? Bien. Ya hay estar bien grande, mi Gilberto, ¿verdad? Ajá. Qué bien. ¿Y ya sabes andar en bicicleta? No. No. Ah, bueno, cuando te enseñes no vas a andar atravesándote las calles, ¿eh? One of the programs that truly gave voice to the farm worker is Buenas Noches. A call-in, interview, and talk show, it brought together people from all sectors of the community to discuss current issues. Among its most noted guests have been Guatemala Cárdenas, Mayor of Mexico City and Presidential Candidate of Mexico, and Cesar Chavez, leader of the Farm Workers Union, who died in 1993. Now via satellite, listeners can share a national discussion of issues on Línea Abierta, open line, produced by Radio Bilingüe. In the 1990s, KDNA began working with other organizations in the use of drama to help listeners reflect on their personal choices and how to better protect their health and well-being. Its first venture was Tres Hombres Sin Fronteras, Three Men Without Borders. It told the story of three immigrant farm workers and the risk of contracting AIDS. Tres Hombres Sin Fronteras, una radionovela de amor, aventura y descuidos. En esta historia conocerán a Marco, a Sergio y a Víctor, tres hombres quienes salen de México con rumbo a los Estados Unidos en busca de oportunidades de trabajo. En su aventura se encuentran con situaciones en la vida que les enseñan a cómo protegerse de peligros. Peligros tales como el SIDA, que es una enfermedad fatal para la cual no existe curación. Dejemos de hablar y pasemos a la historia de hoy. Produced with Novela Health Education, the drama was selected by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting to receive its prestigious Silver Radio Program Award for Community Service in 1990. This was CPB's first award to a non-English production. The dr KDNA and Novella Health Education of the University of Washington continued their collaboration with a second award-winning series, La Esperanza del Valle, The Hope of the Valley, 
an English video version, a bilingual photo novela and Spanish radio drama, address substance abuse prevention within Latino families. ¿Cómo que no hay más cerveza? ¿Qué es una quinceañera sin cerveza? Rafael, la cerveza se acabó. Toma otra cosa si quieres, con tu permiso. Eh, espera, espera, espera. Todavía hay cerveza en ese barril. Se acabó, hombre. Ya no queremos servir más cerveza. Pues yo quiero otra cerveza. No, ya párale, Rafael. Nos estás avergonzando ante todos. Ya no debes tomar. Deja, por favor, ya. Tú no me mandas, mujer. Déjame. Ay, Luis, lo siento tanto. Hay hombres, Celia, que nunca saben cuándo dejar de tomar. Borracho, el borracho. This series aired nationally on public television and radio stations throughout the country. Esperanza was honored by the National Education Film and Video Festival with a Silver Apple Award in 1994. Currently in production, it's a six-part radio drama about children with developmental disabilities. Funded by the Academy for Educational Development in Washington, D.C., the series will address the concerns of migrant and seasonal farmworking families. Today, KDNA continues to work with federal, state, and local government and community organizations in the production and dissemination of programming to educate, inform, and entertain. Due to the success of Tres Hombres en Esperanza, the University of Washington recently turned over administration of Novela Health Education to Radio Cadena. It will serve as a nationwide distribution point of video, print, and radio dramas. This project has been the producer and distributor of health education materials specifically designed for the Latino community. Over the years, KDNA's programs and community service have been honored with many local and national awards. Here are just a few. Next, we will look at the cultural activities and people of 20 years of KDNA.